Hey guys, the aim of this video is to show you the steps on how to work out a new price after you're given a discount. So in our first example, we have $100 and we want to work out the discounted amount. So we multiply that by the 10% and you can think of 10% as 10 over 100. So 10 in 100 parts. And when you multiply this together, you can see that the 100s cancel out and you're left with $10. However, this is not a new price. This is only the amount that you're given as a discount. So our new price is actually $100 minus the new discounted price, so $10. And this would equal to $90. So we can say if we have an object of $100 and we give it a 10% discount, our new price would be $90. Let's go through the next example. So we have $25 and we're given a 20% discount. So 20% is the same thing as 20 or 100. And 20 or 100 can be reduced to 1 on 5 by dividing the numerator and denominator by 20. 25 times 1 on 5 is the same thing as dividing by 5, so 25 divided by 5 is $5. Therefore, our new price is $25 minus 5, which is $20. So with a 20% discount, we're given a $5 discount on our original price. In our next example, we have $44. And hopefully you can see a pattern of how we work this out. 25% is the same thing as 25 over 100. And if you divide the numerator and denominator by 25, it's the same thing as multiplying by 1 on 4, because 100 can be divided by 25 4 times. So 44 divided by 4, what is that? $11. And hopefully from now you can see that there's a pattern for working out the new price. The new price is simply the original price minus the discounted amount over here I'll call it d.a dot so for this example we have 44 minus 11 which is new price is 33 dollars in our fourth example the problem gets a bit more complicated because we're no longer working with whole numbers so the method still stays the same we follow the same methods as previous examples we have 25.20 times 33 on 100 from here you can either use your calculator because the numbers get a bit difficult however you can also work it out with a ballpark figure so I would say 33 on 100 is nearly the same as one third and basically you do 25.20 divided by 3 so if you divide by 3 you will get 8 and you left with 12 here, so 4 and 0. So the discounted price would be $8.40, about. You can verify this by using a calculator. You might have a few decimal points difference to me. But if you work out the new price, it would be 25.20 minus by $8.40. And this would be equal to $16.80.